Here's how to customize Ninja Trader indicators to suit your trading style. First thing you want to do is open a chart, especially if you're new to Ninja Trader 8. I assume that you by now know how to open a chart, but if this is the first time you're going to actually apply an indicator to your chart, uh, it could be any chart, maybe trading Forex or the futures markets. I've got the S&P E-mini open here, set to a 500 time frame, just an example. You can go ahead and select this little button over here called Indicators. Left click it on, on it with your mouse and it will open an indicator window. Then under the top left column, you'll have all of the default indicators that's included in NinjaTrader 8. Or you can also import if you have a custom indicator that you potentially purchased or got from someone else and import that into the NinjaTrader 8 platform and that will also appear under the indicator list. All right, so if you do not understand or know what some of these indicators mean, I think the first step would be do is just to highlight one of them and left click on it, for example, and go to this little eye for information button over here and it'll give you a good description of what that indicator is, how it works and etc. what it means basically, right? So um, that's the first thing you can do. I'm going to use the Bollinger Band just for explanational purposes. You can, if I want to attach it to my chart, I can double click on it or I could have just clicked and click add here and it'll bring it into the configured box to the bottom side here. All right. Then on the right hand side, under the properties column, you'll have parameters, data series and all different sort of stuff that you can customize according to your own liking. Now the parameters is normally the uh, default settings of the actual indicator itself, nothing to do with colors and those sort of things. And if you do want to go ahead and change them, just make sure that you potentially do that under instruction from whether you, I don't know, bought a trading course or um, you got various indicators that want to look at different time periods, then you can go ahead and do that. Just know that these are the default settings, but if you do change them, know that you are doing that under your own risk or at least at do it under some sort of guidance right now the other thing um once you've left click over here um you can go ahead and hit apply and you'll see that that indicator is now popped up on my charts bollinger bands has upper center and lower lines uh, called the bollinger bands um if you want to change the colors they normally fall under the plot selector section and you can go ahead and change all of these lines according to your preferences right really customize the look and feel of it i'm just going to use these colors for example if i go ahead and hit apply now you'll see all, all those changes that have occurred on my chart all right and you can just go through the same sort of setup if you want to apply million, um, multiple uh, indicators to your chart and let's say for example you like this particular settings you can go to template and you can go ahead and click save and here for example i've created a previous bollinger band i like that settings you can go say go ahead and save it as bollinger band five minute give it a description that you want hit save i've already saved it before um so that pop-up menu won't come up but just save it so the next time let's say you open a different market same time frame and you can just go ahead and load that template so exact same uh, bollinger band settings will pop up on that chart all right so very simple to do um the other thing that's really cool before i sign off here today is let's say for example you got multiple screens or multiple time frames or multiple markets that you're looking at you only really need to build that indicator once off in one of the um charts and let's say you saved that to the settings that you like but you then quickly want to attach it to another chart so instead of right clicking on that chart going to indicators and following all those steps i've shown you before to load that indicator you can simply go ahead left click to highlight the indicator on the chart where you've set it up before left click hold down on your mouse and then simply drag it onto the other chart and then it will pop up with the same settings um, the same look and feel as, as the way you've set it up previously. So that's just a quick way to do things, uh, especially if you're new to Ninja Trader 8 platform. It is a fantastic retail trading platform. And uh, yeah, this is just a quick instruction on how to customize 
indicators to your liking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Take care and goodbye.